We're back with the Geico Gecko. So, now, here's the thing I don't understand. People could save hundreds of dollars on car insurance by switching to Geico. What? So, I have to ask, why does Geico even need a talking gecko? Well, entertainment. How's that? Look, you can't just tell people that Geico could save them money. It's true, yes, but it's a bit boring. So, you have a little gecko entertain, play a little guitar or whatever. They think they're watching entertaining television, but they're actually watching a commercial. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Maria, you won the Australian comedy competition. Is that an Australian accent? No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I can do an Australian accent, not very well. Is that more of a Cockney accent? That's or Cockney. Okay. That's a British, British, okay. British, some sort of British accent. Okay. I'm not sure which. It's the only British reptile I can name. Oh. Is he ready for stand-up? It seems like he's ready to do stand-up. Oh, no, he's super, super funny. And uh, I think that's what they're trying to say is that the, that, that lizard is now a celebrity. Like, everybody knows what the lizard is, and, and so he's on talk shows now. And... Um, and, I mean, I, I totally know that gecko, Geico Gecko. Um, I, the thing is, I don't know what Geico is all the time. Like, if somebody asked me what it was, like, I'd be like, that lizard. <laughs> you know, but I, I don't, not, I'm not sure if, it, if, if that if that's always, uh, and, oh, this is the other thing I thought, is that because they're kind of, it's kind of a smart, uh, funny gecko, um, to use sort of the ironic irony, like, you know we're trying to sell you something. Bow. You know, like that, is, I think that appeals to people who think that they're smart and funny. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they saw know. through it? Yeah, they, yeah. they saw through it. I've only seen it. seven or eighty Geico commercials. Right. I saw right through yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, I get it, I get does, it. Does anybody know what it stands for? It actually stands for Government Employees Insurance Company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's just, it's started out as yeah. insurance for government. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, people. Yeah, and you know, it just, just it's interesting to me to think about their early commercials and this one and the differences because the the, the gecko has really become a celebrity. It's really, you know, and, and I like the earlier ones better because they sort of, you know, tried to personalize this and the, this insurance company and and show how it worked in the workplace and it, they were really funny and that kind of thing. Um, and now he's just kind of a standalone celebrity and. I'm not sure that it works as well for me as the earlier ones did. You know, it's really an impersonal. I'm, but all of them are just crap anyway. Because, I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know the, it's a huge insurance company that, wor that works on the Internet, and there's nothing personal about uh, Geico. But, but they made the claim that, that the purpose is for entertainment, but I think really the purpose is to have an icon. You know, they, they've got yeah, the, the right. gecko, and yeah. I, I assume it's just because it sounds like Geico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. Well, that was the thing. The thing I thought, well, what was the advertise? You know, the meeting like that, like not a very creative meeting. Like, guess what? Ge gecko. Geico sounds like gecko. Yeah, <laughs> and then right. they just yeah. go, okay, let's right. call it a day. Let's you know, like yeah. seventy million dollars on yeah. an ad campaign yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's not super complicated. Has he always had this accent? I know. Is it he he yeah, because for a while he didn't speak. I remember. Yeah. Him, yeah, at all. This this commercial where he got an employee of the month. Yeah. You remember that? I love that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> he was walking to his car with his employee of the uh, month thing, and he didn't huh. speak. I didn't see that one. I yeah. thought he had a more posh English accent before. But he's always yeah. had and an accent. And, and, and they, they buffed it down to be more working class. Yeah. Guy Ritchie. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's Guy Ritchie? Well, no, no. It sounds like Guy Ritchie. Yeah, yeah. 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 I wonder what this gecko would sound like in England if they had the commercial there. Oh, yeah. Would it sound like there? Oh, some yeah. some other accent, I suppose, that would suit him. And why would they give the uh, gecko an English accent? I mean, it's not. Is it a lizard that's found in England? No, uh, no, but, you know. Or Australia? It's probably just distinctive. Or it seems like a celebrity, I guess, like sort of a special, per, you know, it might be. It's, it's not what you'd expect the gecko to sound like. So right. maybe it's Doesn't a British standard. accent always give you 20 extra IQ that's points? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It does. That Absolutely. Be, yeah. yeah. And the talk, the talk show host kind of starts out Jay Leno esque. And then it sort of becomes normal. It isn't, I don't know. I, I, I thought it was kind of like that. It is a sign of ad clutter, though, that they're doing this thing about, oh, look, we really know that commercials are crap and that advertising is crap, and but, it, but we're all in this together. We all know it's crap together. That's to make yourself seem different from all the people who are not being self-conscious about it. Yeah, that's it. a good point. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm always fascinated by the relationship between, you know, cognition and emotion. And... We think that we're, you know, we're thinking machines, but we're not. We're really we're feeling machines that think. And such a good example of it is that we're literally spending time is thinking, is this spokes animal credible? 
which is, of course, just inherently <laughs> implausible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 you know, actually, it is kind of credible because yeah. we see it and, and, and we know he's letting us in on the irony and, and behind, you know, behind the... I kind of like him. Yeah. He's, he's evolving. His uh, arms are more, are longer and more expressive yeah. now. He sits down, he's he moves big, around. He, I, yeah. He's a lot bigger now, isn't he? Uh-huh. Because I remember a long time ago there was a commercial where he was, like, in the back, back seat of a car and he was, like, buckled up or something and yeah. he looked... Right. Like yeah. two inches tall. Now he's like eight inches. Yeah. 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 Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> now we're just and watching him grow. Yeah, that's what celebrity does yeah. for you. you right. Know. Yeah. And and it's owned, you know, by Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett, you know, the second richest man in the world, oh. owns, owns a big chunk of Geico. So wow. anyway, time for our exit question. Um, what else can you do in fifteen minutes, Leola? Enjoy your fifteen minutes of fame. Oh. <laughs> 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 right. Nana. I'll show you after the show. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Three quickies. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Maria. Uh, I can uh, fake learn how to fake a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fifteen minutes is the average time the American spends reading each day. That's your quota. That's all we've got time for. Come play with us again next week on Mental Engineering.